Welcome, face, face, First Lutheran and Philippus friends, uh, Facebook friends here for this midweek time of uh, meditation, prayer, reflection. Uh, Pastor Brian here coming uh, live to you from uh, the worship space, the sanctuary of First Lutheran Church. Uh, I'm here today because I want to lift up the hope that uh, we might be back in here uh, by Christmas. Uh, for things go really well, then maybe even Thanksgiving, but uh, somewhere in between there we're hoping. Uh, I can say that because last Sunday the First Lutheran uh, faith community announced that it had voted uh, 32 yes, 5 no, and 1 abstain uh, to pursue the stabilization and full restoration of the bell tower, uh, which is the path that will get us back into the building so we can continue our ministry. Uh, it was became deeply clear that uh, that was uh, the only path uh, for First Lutheran to continue its ministry here in this location. And uh, the members of First are deeply committed, uh, whatever it takes, to carry out that ministry and mission here in this place. Uh, so the journey's been long. Uh, March 13th was the last time there was an event in this building. March 8th was the last time. March 8th, 2020, I should say. March 8th, 2020. This is the last time an event, a worship event, was held in this sacred space. Uh, so quite some time, uh, uh, too long, and we look forward to getting back in here uh, with all due uh, speed and, and expediency. So with that announcement of the vote this past Sunday, uh, we have begun work to uh, move in the direction of, of determining how we can do so as quickly as possible. Uh, so please uh, keep this in your prayers, uh, and, and also just take a moment now to uh, take in this space. Uh, it's been covered with plastic to help keep dust off it, so when we do reopen the building, uh, it'll make our jobs a little bit easier. Uh, it's, 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 it's a big space, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's, but it does have a uh, somber feel about it, to be honest, being in here and knowing it's been empty, uh, and the, the plastic over the altar and the pulpit and the lectern, uh, the piano, uh, those types of things. I look forward to the day when we come in, and it's when it's safe to do so for volunteers to come in and uh, to reopen the space. Beyond this, there's a great deal of other work to do in this building. Any building that sets empty needs attention, and I've been doing my best to keep the water running maybe for 15, 20 minutes each month to keep the pipes clear, whether it's uh, sinks or toilets. Uh, those water lines brown up, and that's not good for them. Our HVAC system hasn't been serviced in three years. So before we open up and start running, we've been running them as little as possible because we don't need heat or cool, but we can't let the pipes freeze and whatnot. So, uh, But we do need to have that service when we come back in. And there's a few leaks in the roof that need to be patched, uh, as well as the lights in this sanctuary. It's dark in here, normal, darker than normal, uh, but there are uh, five of the eight lights in the ceiling. 500-watt uh, lights, lights are out, and so we need to have electricians come in and to get those uh, up and running too as well. Uh, but none of that work can be done until the building is made safe by the phase one stabilization work that needs to be done. Uh, so that is the first priority, is to get the phase one stabilization work done so that uh, the building will be deemed safe uh, by uh, engineer and city uh, orders. And we can then come back in while the phase two work continues on, uh, the full restoration of the tower. With that, we uh, look forward to that day when we can come back in here, when we can come down. I envision a day, and maybe maybe it'll be December, maybe uh, during the Sangerfest days, uh, a parade or processional from Philippus Church down the street. Uh, we'll have to wear coats. It'll be a little chilly, but it'll still be a joyous day. I can envision uh, doing that processional uh, and reopening and relaunching our ministry here in this building. Besides the bricks and mortar and what has to happen in this building to get it ready for reoccupancy, uh, First Lutheran as a faith community and our friends at Philippus uh, that are interested in joining us on this journey need to get ready for relaunching a ministry. Uh, we cannot you know, discount the reality that uh, as we return to this building, uh, not only does this building need work, but our ministry needs uh, to be restored. Uh, it needs to be restored. That's going to be significant work. We don't want to come back into the building to be a building maintenance ministry. And that's a very real danger. Uh, so we have to be intentional about making sure that we keep resources allocated for ministry to happen. I, as pastor, do not have any interest in being 
uh, the museum maintainer. Uh, that's no interest. Uh, so we need ministry to happen, and that's going to happen in large part by uh, adding staff, hopefully, uh, but also from the members of First Lutheran. And any member of the community that wants to come in and help us with our ministry, that is fantastic as well. Uh, we can use it. Uh, the ministry that we had in 2019 no longer exists, uh, excepting the people that were here as part of the faith community. So there is a time of relaunching and conversation around what ministry in this building will look like. So I invite you uh, to keep your ears open and eyes open to emails and uh, conversations and communications that will be inviting you to participate in this relaunching and reopening of our ministry Again, not, not just wiping dust off of ledges, but uh, wiping dust off our spiritual life together might be a, another way to describe it. Uh, significant work to be done. Uh, it won't be easy. It'll be difficult, uh, to be honest. Uh, but First Lutheran has uh, been through quite a bit over its generations and uh, this current era. Uh, I have confidence that God will sustain us on this journey. Beyond that, we also will be engaged with the community, uh, working to secure the funds to fully stabilize and restore the bell tower. Uh, beyond that, my hope has always been is to be persistent and insistent upon securing additional funds to make our building fully accessible for those who cannot climb the stairs when they come in here. Uh, that being an emphasis that we are about the mission and the ministry, the people that we want to serve, uh, and without an elevator, we can't fully do that. Uh, so that will be something that will be part of our efforts in the community as we seek to secure funds to restore not only the bell tower, but to making our building accessible and our also remaining work to be done in here. Uh, so uh, lots of opportunities to engage in what's happening. Uh, and that's, that's just to speak about our ministry related to this building. Of course, we're mindful of uh, last week's announcement on Friday afternoon by the Supreme Court of the overturning of the uh, Roe Wade uh, established uh, decision, you know, law of the land, if you will, for 50 years is now no longer in place, and that is certainly raising uh, significant anxieties, concerns, and conversations uh, that are challenging and difficult uh, to say that would they are not more, I mean, they're challenging and difficult is a understatement. Uh, uh, it, is, it is a source of deep uh, pain and concern for many. Uh, our faith community needs to be engaged in that conversation as we are able to, um, uh, as there are many other things uh, to be engaged with in our world that don't have to do with anything in the building that I'm in right now. Uh, relationships uh, with our neighbors, uh, the, uh, mindfulness of what's happening in the world, uh, stories of immigrants desperate to get into our country. Uh, uh, I believe that the majority of immigrants are looking for a better life and uh, they are willing to risk their lives as they did in Texas at the border in the semi-trailer uh, to make to realize that dream. Uh, what a, a broken reality that is. Uh, so there's much that we can be in prayer about, prayer about, and so with that, I invite you to join with me now. The Lord be with you. Gracious God, today we gather in this sacred space, a space that has not seen worship for uh, two years, three months, and two weeks. We look forward for the day when we can once again gather and, and proclaim the invocation, inviting you into his presence in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit when we again will gather here uh, to confess our sin, uh, to hear the proclamation of the forgiveness of those sins, to sing our praises to you in thanksgiving, uh, to proclaim you Lord and ask for your mercy, to hear your word proclaimed to us in the reading of scripture and uh, proclamation through sermons, uh, to give thanks through the offering as you have blessed us and to receive uh, from the table the body and blood of your son Jesus, which brings to us life and hope in our daily lives and life eternal. And then we are sent out as we gather and conclude our worship into the world to take and share the good news which we have been blessed with. I look forward to that day, this place being filled with the sounds of your faithful people uh, gathered together and the sounds of music and the proclamation of hope. 
uh, we pray for uh, the world we live in uh, as our nation is in turmoil over a recent decision by the Supreme Court. Uh, guide our conversations, uh, give to us compassion as we reflect on this uh, challenging issue. We think of those who seek to improve their life in the world, uh, the immigrants who died and their families uh, seeking to come into our country. Uh, help those in leadership, those with resources to find a better way uh, to go about uh, putting an end to the need to do such things. We pray for uh, those impacted by COVID, those who are uh, in Ukraine, our leaders of the world who gather in Spain, the G7 summit, give to them wisdom as they seek to bring about resolution, uh, as they seek to bring about relief from rising prices of food and energy in our, our, our world. Gracious God, uh, be with us on this day. We ask that you watch over us and keep us until we can meet again, uh, wherever that might be, this week, Philippus Church at 11 o'clock. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me uh, today in the sacred space. It's, uh, it's good to be in this space. And again, I look forward to the day when we can gather in it uh, and not be on Facebook Live, but all here together in this space. Go in peace, share the love of God. Thanks be to God.